What is going on everybody? So a year ago today, I published my DIY bathroom transformation video, which ended up going viral. Over the past year, this video brought in over 2.3 million views and over 90,000 hours of watch time, which is basically 10 years. And it's also how long it seemed to take me to finish that bathroom project. This video also made me a couple bucks along the way, but we'll talk about that in a second. If you're one of the 2.3 million people who watched my bathroom transformation video and really helped to put my YouTube channel on the map, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And if you haven't seen it, I'll link the video below, but here's just a quick 10 second sample so we're all on the same page when we start talking about revenue. Okay, so now that we're on the same page, let's talk about what made you click on the video, how much YouTube paid me for my 2 million view video over the past year. So about a month ago, I asked you guys in the community tab to give me your best ballpark estimate of what you thought YouTube would pay a creator for 2 million views. So out of the 200 people that took this poll, most of you thought it paid around 1200 bucks with a few of you saying 5,000 and a couple more thinking it was lower at around 250. So who was right? I promise I'm gonna answer that in just a second. But before doing so, I wanna give you a bit of context on how the YouTube monetization system is actually set up. So YouTube, like Google, makes the bulk of its revenue through advertisements. These advertisements are typically video ads placed at the beginning or the end of YouTube videos. Advertisers will bid against each other and YouTube will take their money and place their ad on videos where the product being promoted makes sense for that audience. Although this is a bit of an oversimplification, Advertiser revenue is the main reason that YouTube brought in over $20 billion in 2021. YouTube will place ads on every video that gets uploaded to the platform, but there are two video categories that we need to look at. The first category of videos are those that are uploaded by content creators who are not part of the YouTube partner program. And the second type obviously are videos that are uploaded by those who are part of the program. So what is this YouTube partner program? Well, I'm gonna tell you in just a second, but right now, you just need to know this. If you are part of the YouTube Partner Program and you upload a video, you earn 55% of the ad revenue and YouTube keeps 45%. But if you upload a video and you are not part of the YouTube Partner Program, you get $0 and YouTube keeps 100%. So now let's talk about how creators can qualify for the YouTube Partner Program so that they can claim their 55% of the YouTube revenue pie. That was weird. I said that weird. So to qualify for the YouTube Partner Program and start earning money from YouTube, you need to meet two eligibility requirements. The first requirement is you need to have at least 1,000 subscribers. And the second requirement is that your YouTube channel needs to have over 4,000 hours of watch time over the previous year. So although these eligibility requirements might sound easy on paper, it's actually pretty tough to get your first 1,000 subscribers and even tougher to get those first 4,000 hours of watch time. So if you thought making money on YouTube was as easy as grabbing your iPhone, recording your first video, and then just waiting for the money to roll in, then I'm sorry to be the one to burst your bubble. So once you get accepted into the YouTube Partner Program and you're eligible to earn money from YouTube, you need to understand that there are a variety of factors that are gonna impact how much revenue you actually pull in. Basically, views on YouTube are not created equal. One video with a million views could make considerably more or less than another video with the same amount of views. Let's hop into my YouTube dashboard and I'll show you what I mean. So when you're determining how much money you're gonna earn from YouTube, you need to keep three metrics in mind. They are CPM, RPM, and views. CPM stands for cost, per mil, and mil is just the Latin word for 1,000. So when I say CPM, I'm talking about cost per thousand, and that is the cost advertisers are willing to pay to put their ad in front of 1,000 viewers. RPM stands for revenue per mil, and that's the revenue you can expect to earn as a YouTuber per 1,000 ad impressions after YouTube has already taken its 45% cut. And the last metric is view count, but that's self-explanatory. So if we take a look at the CPM for my viral bathroom video, you can see that it's hovering right around $7.50. Before the holidays, it got up to almost $14, but usually it's hovering right at $7.50. The RPM, which is the revenue I'm pulling in per 1,000 views, is literally right around, you know, a dollar. You can see it got a little bit higher at the holidays, but it hovers really right around that a dollar range. Um, if we go over to one of my other videos, this is my DIY railing, you can see how much higher the CPM is on this video. It's around $25 and you can see there it's 88 
at its highest. And then if we look at the RPM, again, it's still significantly higher than the dollar RPM I was earning on my viral video, getting up to $30, you know, $20, but averaging right around 13. As you saw from the comparison between my viral video and then the other video on my channel, there could be a huge delta between the CPMs and the RPMs. And from what I found, the difference in the RPM and CPMs depends on two factors. The first is the topic or the niche of the video, and the second is the demographic and the geographies of where your views are coming from. Let's talk about the topic or niche first. Certain topics like real estate, cryptocurrency, finance, things like that, have a much, much, much higher CPM than topics like video games or toy reviews. And it kind of makes sense when you think about it. With topics like real estate, investing, and cryptocurrency, the targeted audience is typically above 18 and has a high likelihood of having discretionary income that they could spend on a product that was advertised on that kind of video. On the other side of that coin, the audience for video games or toy reviews is typically gonna be under 18 with a low likelihood of actually spending money on a product. So advertisers aren't really willing to spend as much to get in front of that younger audience. So now that we have an understanding of how different video topics or niches can affect the CPM, we can talk about the other factor that is gonna influence how much advertisers are willing to pay, and that is where your views are coming from, or in YouTube terms, geography. So if we hop back over into my YouTube dashboard, you can see that nearly half a million views came from the United States, which has a pretty high CPM of $10.40. And then I got another half a million views from India, which has a CPM of less than a dollar. So as you scroll down here, you'll see that every country has its own CPM and the amount of revenue that you earn can vary significantly depending on where your views come from, geographically speaking. So now that we've talked about how YouTube monetization works and we have an idea of the various factors that can impact a video's profitability, let's take a look at the dashboard and see exactly how much YouTube paid me for my 2 million view viral video over the last year. So as you can see, this video was uploaded on February 6, 2021, and I didn't make a single dollar up until March 30th, which is when I became eligible for the YouTube Partner Program. I got accepted and bam, the first day I made $76 with this video. I was going crazy. I was picking out my car color and then I quickly got humbled by the algorithm. You can see the next day it dropped to 43 and then it just continually uh, declined until it settled right around eight or $10. So as you can see, making around $10 a day from this video was pretty common. You can see right there, I had a little blip when it went down to zero when I had an issue with AdSense. And then uh, as we went here, there were some high days in the 30s, but it typically settled around you know, $10 a day. So when you add everything up, that comes out to $3,041 that this one video earned me over the course of 2021. Um, if you recall, two months of those, uh, I wasn't monetized, so it wasn't quite a full year. But honestly, three grand from one video was not too bad. And if you saw my bathroom cost video, you would know that the cost of materials to renovate this bathroom was only just over five grand. So this video alone has basically paid for over half of that bathroom remodel. And I'm hoping that by the end of 2022, this video will have paid for the entire project. If you are still with me at this point, I would like to extend a huge thank you. I wouldn't have earned a single dollar from this YouTube channel if it wasn't from your support. And I have a ton of new stuff coming for y'all in the next couple months. And to thank you for sticking around with me, here's a quick sneak peek of what you can expect to see on the channel in the next couple weeks. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content in addition to the DIY projects, let me know and I might do a couple more cost breakdowns or maybe get into the investing side of real estate and rental income, things like that. If not, we'll just stick to the DIY. But I appreciate you guys and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.